I'm Dr. Erica Podolsky. I'm the medical director of the Surgical Weight Loss Program at Delray Medical Center and a member of Tenet Florida Physician Services. So obesity is a chronic disease and because it's a, a chronic disease, it can go into remission. 10 to 15% of people can have weight regain or recurrence of medical issues. When we look at what prior surgery patients have, there is an opportunity to convert to another surgery. A sleeve can be switched into a bypass, a bypass can be switched into a distal bypass. We're one of the only programs in the area that offers any revisional surgery. So bariatric surgery has been around for decades and decades. Most patients have had surgery in a different facility or a different area in the country. Over time, the surgery adapts and patients may have weight regain or you know, recurrence of medical problems. So a revisional surgery can become an option. So um, we're happy to help patients that weren't initially our own, but have recurrence of their disease. Bypasses have changed over the years, so it may be that the bypass they had 20 or 30 years ago is not the same standard technique that we perform today, and we can modify their bypass to get a better result. In revisional surgery, there's a series of evaluations to evaluate the old surgery and see what can be modified. Occasionally, a sleeve can be made smaller. Most of the time, a sleeve can be switched to a bypass. A bypass can be switched to a more distal bypass. So there are a lot of different variations in what can be done in revisional surgery. Bypasses change over time. The body adapts to whatever surgery we do. So the stomach pouch that's typically an ounce in size can expand. The connection between the stomach and the bowel can expand. Or the bowel can adapt and the malabsorptive part of the surgery needs to be extended or lengthened. Every surgery is serious. Um, revisional surgery depends on what the initial surgery was. A lot of patients had open bypasses performed decades ago. That complicates going back to do another surgery with extensive scar tissue. Sometimes if patients had a laparoscopic surgery, they may have less scar tissue, which does make things a little easier. The risk is always somewhat higher in doing a second surgery than an initial surgery, but revisional surgery is on the whole very safe. Any patient that did well with surgery initially and then had recurrence of obesity or any comorbid condition like diabetes or heart disease would be a candidate. Revisional surgery hopefully is done at a point where people haven't reverted completely back to where they were. Um, results are very good for revisional surgery. They may not be the same percentages as the initial surgery, but it does a very good results.